guys like know? I mean, cheerleading is a great sport, obviously. What kind of changes have y'all um, noticed in your daughters since they started cheering? Well, I noticed a huge level of confidence go up in one of my daughters. When we first started here at Stingrays, um, we started just for tumbling. And one of my daughters was diagnosed with dyslexia, language processing, um, ADD, ADHD, and some other learning um, differences, as we like to call them. And cheerleading gave her something that she could do, and she could do well. And she has seemed to grow and grow and grow um, by leaps and bounds. It gave her confidence in her schoolwork. It gave her confidence with her peers. And um, I know that that's what it is. If we ask her what she wants to do and how she wants to do it, she can always fall back on cheerleading. Um, she may not be the best reader. Um, she may not always get straight A's but she knows that she can come to the gym and feel like a success. Her coaches have always made her feel like a million bucks and like the best cheerleader in the whole wide world, whether she started on pre-team and was, a, you know, moved to a level two um, to now moving up to um, being on a level five restricted team. She's always felt like she was the best person in the world. And I thank Stingrays for doing that for That's her. That's great. Now, John, I mean, it's gotta take a lot of dedication I mean, you know, kids got so much going on these days. I mean, balancing schoolwork and I mean, Shannon just, you know, she just, you know, hit on a few points there with it. And, uh, you know, just describe a little bit of the dedication, what you've seen, you know, from what your daughter has to go through to be a competitive cheerleader. Well, my daughter, she just turned 15. And, um, you know, many people would say that having a teenage daughter is one of the hardest things in the world. But I really believe that because she's been here at Stingrays and because she's cheering, it's kept her focus. Um, one of the things I can honestly say that she grew up, when she was younger, she had kind of a low self-esteem, you know, and no one really knew that, but she was always shy. She would always fall to the back. And being a part, and she has one of the greatest coaches, Wendy McConnell, that, I mean, really pushes her but knows her limit and my daughter like some of the girls uh, have gone through what they call mental blocks she's gone through tumbling where she could tumble then she couldn't she could tumble then she couldn't and you know in and out of routines but what it taught her to do was to stay focused and it also taught her diligence and she's used that all throughout her her life in her schoolwork also cheerleading has helped her decide on colleges she wants to attend now and in that it realized she's learned how to focus i mean we watch her grades get better most teenagers they their grades drop in ninth and tenth grade year hers have increased i mean you know and i mean increased by leaps and bounds and it's simply because she's learned how to stay focused and she's gotten gained that confidence and one of the things i can say about stingrays is the fact that everyone feels that you know stingrays gets the best athletes so we have the best coaches Right. You know, and those coaches know how to bring out what's inside of every child. And with my daughter, even with her, she she's she's striving to be better. She's striving to be um, that per, that woman that God has designed her to be. And in that, she knows that nothing interferes. She has a lot of she has a busy schedule. She's in a junior sorority. She does community service. She's done Girl Scouts, but nothing comes before cheerleading except for her grades. I mean, literally, she get, her friends can be like, listen, we got a part. We have some friends that they kind of told us, listen, we're going to write her off of inviting her to birthday parties right. because she can't come because of these competitions. <laughs> we have family members that actually get mad at us and say, she's not having a childhood because she's always practicing. She's always at cheer. I'm like, but this is what she loves. You know, and you can't rob a child of what they love. Exactly. <laughs> you know? I mean, who, who else we have? I mean, we, we, we travel, we get to have all these, they have great vacations, we have great work sessions. But I mean, it's, it's fun for them, and that's what they live for. And you know, a lot of people, when you think about it, they, they have, a lot of kids don't get this kind of experience, they don't get this kind of camaraderie to be a part of something this great. And then the fact of actually knowing that you're part of a number one team. Last year, she won Summit. You know, and Summit was a big deal. I mean, so they literally won the won the the best J five team that was out there. They were they were the deal. That's you know, awesome. Green was she got the ring. She loved it. I mean, brought tears to my eyes. So, and the, and it showed her what hard work can do through that accomplishment. So I tell anybody, if your child is in is in competitive trility, just stick to it. I mean. Make sure that that's what they want to do first, and by all means, don't live your life through your children. Though. <laughs> Let them live their own life. Another thing Great that's voice. really Great. neat when I get to tell the kids what being a team mom is, when you go, there's not many teams 
sports that you can go and actually, it doesn't matter where you are, whether you're the center flyer or you're the back base, you all are the exact same importance to the team because exactly. when you win NCA, you all go home with the exact same jacket. That is that's, that's so true because there and there are no superstars. There are no superstars. There, I don't care. There are no superstars when it comes to competitive cheerleading. So you're all one unit. You're all one team.